Well, hello the new. It's only me, Leonard Wells, broadcasting as usual from here in the Giggle Mill in Studio B in Haslingdon, near Manchester, in the UK. Studio B is the home of that incredibly sweet chap, Adolf Apfelstrudel, one of the finest resident studio engineers in the business. Very clever man. He was once a top driver for the Automobile Association, what we call in, in the UK, the AA. But uh, he had problems with the ladies, turned to drink and was sacked. And he became a founder member of Alcoholics Anonymous. <clears throat> so he was very often referred to as AA, from the AA, formerly with the AA, from BB. During the WAR, Adolf was gruesomely wounded uh, and um, steadfastly refuses to come on camera because he says it frightens the kids and he gets visits from the police. In addition, he's a strict disciplinarian and he refuses me any more than a measly 12 digital mega burgers per broadcast. Measly 12 uh, mega burgers. Can you imagine? So I have to deny you once again the old time thrill of seeing and hearing my world famously forgettable rendition of Ness and Dorma. Now Adolf's just walked in, well when I, when I say walked, he swayed in actually because he's been to the pub and you know he's been on the uh, <coughs> drink and he spends most of his time and money in there I think, uh, which doesn't surprise me. Uh, and um, just occasionally he can be persuaded to wave to the audience, although using a gloved hand because of his WAR wounds, uh, and um, that's as much as you get, but it's a big thrill. <coughs> so I always ask him, and it, today will be no exception, I'm going to ask him, Adolf, Adolf, can you hear me? Adolf? Well, I've got his attention. Adolf, do you think you might um, give the audience a big thrill? and wave to them today? <coughs> oh, he says he's feeling horsey this afternoon. That means no, 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 a no, no. Well, we'll get on with our little tale. And in our little tale, we, uh, uh, the, um... That'll be 11 o'clock. It's these oats, you know, they, they keep you as regular as a clock. In our little tale concerns a man who was determined to lose weight and get fit again. So he searched high and low and he got Google having a look on the internet. And he came across a company he'd not heard of before. We Remove Weight Inc. So he gives them a call, <clears throat> they say, well, we have three, um, three different uh, uh, offers on at the moment. The first one is called lose 10, do 10 pounds for 10 dollars, 5 kilos if you're French. Second one is lose 20 pounds for 20 dollars. 10 kilos if you're French. And the third one is lose 100 pounds for a hundred dollars. 50 kilos if you're French. So the guy thinks, well, I'm not, not too keen on part of it all that amount of money. He says, I'll try the $10 one. 10 pounds for $10. So they said, it'll be with you first thing tomorrow. So he thinks, oh goody. So he has no idea what, what's involved. So anyway, the next morning, round about the time when the postman usually comes, the front doorbell rings. So he opens the door and there is this, oh, this stunning blonde. Oh, only small, but perfectly formed. And she's got on only shorts and uh, running shoes and I've got a note round her neck which says, I am the 10 pounds, five kilos if you're French, for 10 dollars. If you can catch me, 
you can have me. So he says, right, I'll be with you in a second. So he goes inside, strips down to his shorts, and he sets off after her. Of course, he's got no chance. And he keeps trying, oh, all day long. And he gives up in the end. But after a week of this, he's lost ten pounds. He's amazed. So he thinks to himself, well, if she's good, I wonder what the twenty, uh, the twenty pound uh, one is, is like. So he orders the twenty pound one. 10 kilos if you're French and sure enough next morning the doorbell rings about the time the postman comes postman always not rings twice as they say and um, he opens the door and there is oh she's tall and stunning oh what a figure and she's got nothing on but galoshes and she's got a note round her neck covering her vitals kind of thing if you know what I mean uh, and um, it says, um, I am the 20 pounds for 20 dollars, 10 kilos if you're French. If you can catch me, you can have me. So off he goes, run, 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 run. And this goes on for a whole week, and at the end of which he's, he's lost 20 pounds and he's stunned by this. So he's thinking to himself, well, in for a penny, in for a pound, as we say in English, or half a kilo if you're French. And um, so he orders the 100 pounds. 50 kilos if you're French, for a hundred dollars. Next morning, sure enough, the bell rings around the time of the postman uh, comes and he goes to the door rubbing his hands. Oh, 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 oh. hee hee, am I looking forward to this? He opens the door and there is the biggest bloke you've ever seen. Hairy chest, got nothing on but galoshes. And he's got a note round his, his neck and he says, I'm the 100 pounds for 100 dollars. 50 kilos if you're French. If I catch you, you're mine. Oh, he ran the whole the whole length of town, every day for a week. And at the end of that week, boy, had he lost one hundred pounds, fifty kilos, if you're French. Thank you and good night, folks.